Today we're gonna have a very holiday festive type of day. I'm currently in line at Starbucks. I'm gonna get a little Christmas drink. I almost said fall drink, no. Christmassy drink and then I have a nail appointment at 11.30 so we'll head there and fix up these nails because they look quite atrocious. You can't really tell right now but I have very chipped pale pink nail polish on my nails right now because I was annoyed of my acrylics and I didn't decide to get like a fresh new set last time so I realized I really do miss it and these just make my look or my hands look so little and stubby so i miss them so much but we're gonna order the starbucks and then head to my nail appointment after i have no idea what i want to get i think i want to do a sugar cookie latte but instead of making the latte i'll do like an iced coffee with no classic and then the sugar for or the sugar i always say sugar-free syrup the sugar cookie syrup I think that's the plan. Cause I don't love lattes, I just feel like there's too much milk. I'm definitely like a coffee girl. I love the rich taste of coffee. I was considering getting a tall because I've already had my coffee this morning, but whatever. Good morning, I'll go with you. Okay. I'm good, thank you. I'll just do a drink today. Go for it. Awesome, could I just do a grande iced coffee with no classic? And then one pump of sugar-free vanilla, one pump of the sugar cookie syrup, and then a splash of almond milk, please. Anything else? Nope, that should be it. 425. Thank you. That was like the most confident I've ever ordered a Starbucks drink. I feel like every time I get to the window, no matter what, I could be getting my regular order. I could just be ordering a cold brew for all I know. And I always find a way to stutter. Like something about ordering through a drive-thru. I don't know, I just always get a little nervous. Is that just me or is it a universal, universal feeling? <laughs> Also, supposedly, Starbucks has, like, a camera so they can see you in your car, which is kind of freaky. Not that it really matters anyways, but kind of funny. We got the goods, baby. Okay, I need to park, and then we'll do a little, little taste test. Is there a parking spot over here? Oh, bingo. There it is. Beautiful. I believe I've ordered this before. This is, like, my typical go-to holiday drink when I'm at Starbucks. A little shake. Mmm. So good every time. I love it. So, so, so bomb. I like to get iced coffee instead of the cold brew because I feel like the iced coffee is a tiny bit sweeter even though I don't have any of the classic in it. But the cold brew is definitely like pow in your face. So I've ordered this before with cold brew but definitely prefer it just with the iced coffee. So this is 10 out of 10 for me. So good. But in terms of the nails, I have a couple of different ideas. I always love weighing in my friends opinions because they will give it to me no matter what but I thought that I'll put all the images on the screen of what I'm looking at but this first one I think is so cute but a lot of my friends are saying that design on nails is chuggy now I feel like it's not but this is super cute I think it might be too much of fall though and I kind of want to lean into more of holiday nails since it's November 20th right now and these are my nails for Thanksgiving that I'm gonna get and they'll probably last me until like December 20th kind of so I'm thinking either that probably not that I guess but maybe French tips with like emerald green on the top I think that would look so cute like a dark forest green but I get so annoyed at French tips easily I don't know why I just like love a sleek solid so I feel like I'd like these for two weeks and then I get annoyed and I don't like to get my nails done every two weeks like no not not in this day and age but another nail trend I've seen a lot is people doing like the cherry mocha nails so it's like a very dark almost maroon type of red which I think would be so cute and chic I'm maybe gonna do that ah oh, I'm so indecisive so indecisive this is another really cool design but I think Again, I would get sick of it, or it would just like look too too chaotic, you know? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I know I sound dramatic, but I feel like I have my personality back. Now that my acrylics are back in action, I miss these so much. And we went with this cranberry red color, which looks so, so, so good. I just love how simple and chic it looks. We tried so many different options for that cherry mocha that everyone's been doing, but everything was either too red or too much of like a bright pink undertone, which was not looking good. So I landed on this cranberry shade, which I think looks so pretty. 
now this is where the fun begins. I'm really feeling in the spirit. I'm so excited to do some Christmas decor shopping. Even though it feels wrong to be doing this when it's literally 80 degrees out and sunny as ever, but I didn't want to save this for a rainy day. I've just been way too excited to decorate my apartment and find some cute decor. So I'll head into Target and see what they have. I've seen some cute TikToks of people finding some really good things here. So crossing my fingers. I'm so glad I came to this Target because every other Target I go to, the Christmas sections are not this big. So I feel like we got a lot to work with. I can't believe though it's already pretty much picked over. At least this section. I love this colorway. I feel like the purple and the reds look so cute together. But since I am doing rose gold and pink, I think this could throw it off. But I really do like that purple color. I cannot believe how picked over the Christmas section is. So we're gonna go to like the Magnolia home section and see what they have. You guys saw that Christmas decor section. How in the heck was that already picked over when it's not even Thanksgiving yet? I thought I was being ahead of the game this year, getting all of my decor situated before I head out of town for the holidays. What in the heck? Target, wow, I'm kind of surprised, honestly. But I don't know if it's just me or like the Targets down south here in Florida, but I feel like Target has been in its flop era for the last year. And I know that's probably a bold statement to say, but when I was holiday shopping for, or like decor shopping for the fall, I found nothing. And usually Target is like my one-stop shop. I can always rely on Target for quality home decor and like cute stuff, but they had nothing when I was shopping for the haul. I can't even speak. Shopping for the fall for my apartment. And then, yeah, you saw that Christmas decor section, which was honestly disappointing. So that's kind of a bummer. I did find a couple of things, but nothing like revolutionary. So we're gonna head to at home. That's where I'm on my way right now. And it is so massive there. Like when I was introduced to at home, because we don't have one up north, I was generally shocked. And they have anything and everything you could imagine for the holidays. So I feel like that's gonna be my jackpot of the day. And then if I need to, we'll head to Home Goods after. This is my all-time favorite Christmas song, without a doubt. Once better and twice shy. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. It's snowing and blowing up into the fun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Oh my goodness, this is like a Christmas wonderland in here. I'm like overwhelmed. Also look at all these trees. I actually ordered mine on Amazon, so that's gonna be coming when I'm out of town, but I cannot wait to decorate my tree. I'm gonna do that in like a different video and everything, but all these trees are so gorgeous. I got one that's also locked, so I'm excited for it. And it's, I think eight feet or something. So it'll look so good. These are so pretty. I found a whole section that has that light pale pink that I'm decorating with. Look at how pretty these ornaments are. I wanna get ornaments, but I think I'm gonna wait until my tree gets here, but these are so pretty. And this is the exact kind of vibe that I'm going for. So I wanna find more decor pieces that kind of resemble this. I think this feather little Christmas tree is so cute and really matches like the vibe of my apartment. So I'm gonna get her. Oh my goodness, these gold reindeer. These are stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm a thousand percent getting this. This would be so cute. Is this too big? Or I would do like, maybe these two next to each other? These are just so, so, so cute. I love reindeer and Christmas trees. Those are probably like my favorite decor things to decorate with. I really want to find some green garland because how cute does this look? I think this would look so good in my living room on the mirror. So I have like some accent garland that I just found, which is this pink one, which would look so pretty with some green garland. I just have to find some. And then if I do garland on the mirror, I probably won't do it on the TV stand, but just in case I also got these like white fluffy balls, which look super cute too. I just don't know the kind of look that I'm going for. So either of these two, I think would look super cute. I really like this garland. I think this is so cute and the little pine cones, but I do not love the ornaments because I feel like they'd clash a lot with the gold, you know? But this is getting closer to what I'm looking for. I 
really struggled at home goods with the pillows i did not expect to find pink like holiday pillows but these are literally perfect and they're so cute so i'm indecisive i don't know if i should get this set or these two because they're like reversible which is super cool so i would do like one on this side and then stripes for the other pillow but it's cheaper to get this set but i think i like this little situation better i don't know maybe i'll get both and then whatever one i don't end up using i'll return but i'm really leaning towards this one because i feel like it's very calm and super cute <laughs> back home i'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything that i got today and it's safe to say we definitely bounced back from that fail of a target run okay starting off my christmas decor shop with that was a little bit nerve-wracking but home goods and at home they got us covered so starting with home goods you guys saw the different pillows that i got which i'm gonna keep one of the sets i'm not gonna keep all four of these pillows because that would definitely be overkill but now that i'm in my apartment i'm thinking i'm gonna do these ones because i just like how simple they are with the gold tinsel, the light pink, so cute. I'm obsessed with these. And then these were the other ones that I showed you guys. They have like little Christmas trees on them, some snowflakes, and then like a little hint of green. But once I get to decorating, I'm gonna figure out what pillows I like the best. I'm thinking, like I said, those ones, but once everything kind of comes together, that's when I'll really figure that out. And then I also found this garland at home goods, which I really like because it looks more simple than the one that I found at home. So I think I'm going to keep this one for around the mirror. Again, I'm going to play around with the different decor and see. I just wanted to grab it because I would hate to wish that I got it and then not have it be there when I went back. So I really like this one and I think it's so pretty. And then I also just got a candle from Home Goods because I cannot go to Home Goods and skip the candle section. This one smells so, so, so yummy. What is it? It's winter white. Oh, it smells so good. Seasonal candles are always my favorite. Then from Target, very short and quick haul, but I just got this little Christmas tree, which honestly, this was $20, which I think is so stupidly overpriced, but I wanted to put it on my kitchen island with a couple different decor pieces. But since I went here before I went to at home, I think I'm gonna return this because I feel like I found so many more quality pieces there. So I got this just in case. And then I got these little ceramic Christmas trees which these were from like the under $5 section and I just thought these would be cute accent pieces for my coffee table and stuff. But yeah, they're cute and little. Moving on to everything that I found at home. So first off, this little snow globe. Just thought this would be really cute as an accent piece in my kitchen with that Christmas tree that I just showed you guys from Target. Also, this candlestick I thought was so cute. Also, this was on sale, but I want this for my coffee table. I have some candlesticks there right now but they're just like orangey colored, so it goes with the typical aesthetic of my living room. So I'm gonna switch that out for this gold one. And then I just got this pink glass Christmas tree, which I thought was so cute. This is a whole little situation, so it all kind of goes together. But now that I look at it, I don't know if I love this garland. I feel like it looks too structured. But this is what I wanted to go around my gold mirror behind me. And then these like gold beaded garlands, the white ones. And then I got some of these like ornaments. I have a bunch of them in my bag, but I didn't want to grab all of them out to show you guys. But there's like a white puffy one, this sparkly pink one, kind of just to hang from the garland, kind of following like that picture that I put on my Pinterest. But yeah, so many of these cutie little ornaments. And then how cute are these gold little reindeer? I thought these would be perfect on the coffee table with like the candlestick situation that I just showed you guys. Then I just got two little Christmas trees. Not sure where I'm going to put these yet, but I really liked the feather look of this one. And then... This one is just like a plain glittery gold, which would be a perfect little accent. Last but not least, I got one of these Nutcracker guys, which honestly, these kind of freaked me out a little bit, but I saw something on Pinterest that incorporated this with like that white Christmas tree that I showed you guys and some candles and stuff as a centerpiece for the kitchen island. So I decided we'll just get it, even though I think they're kind of freaky but I really like the pink little look of it. So that's everything that I got Christmas shopping today. Really excited to decorate, so stay tuned for that vlog because that will be coming soon. I don't really wanna start decorating it yet since I'm literally heading out of town in two days to Minnesota for Thanksgiving, which will be super fun. Before I wrap the vlog, I had to show you guys one of the most exciting packages I've probably ever received. First off, we know one of my favorite stores is Aloe, okay? And they sent me their advent calendar for this year. How freaking fun. I've never had an advent calendar before. I've like made them myself, but I've never bought one or had one from like a specific store or brand. 
So this is gonna be so freaking fun for Vlogmas. Like, I cannot wait. I just did an unboxing of this over on my TikTok. I didn't open all of the boxes, just a couple to give you guys a little sneak peek, a little preview, but we're gonna save it for Vlogmas this year because it's gonna be such a fun time. And instead of doing Vlogmas over on YouTube, I decided that I'm gonna do it this year on TikTok because I feel like it'll be more interactive and just mentally and physically better for me to do it over on TikTok because personally for me, my favorite time of year for like YouTube content is definitely at the beginning of year and like resetting and goal setting, just all that like fun, fresh content and just like becoming a better version of yourself and setting your, yourself up for success for the new year. Like that's really what I love to post in January. Like I feel like January is my type of vlogmas, but I don't want to ever feel burnt out heading into the near new year or like creatively in a rut or anything. So I'm just going to be posting on YouTube like two or three times a week still, but not every single day. Also, let's be real. I don't think my life is interesting enough to be posting every single day but yeah so definitely be sure to check out um tiktok for the daily vlogs little day in my life type of things i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna do it yet i kind of have a few ideas and maybe i'll switch it up a little bit here and there every day but i'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because i'm gonna start packing and prepping to head home to minnesota so i leave not tomorrow but the next day very early in the morning so i need to get packing and start getting situated for that but make sure you're following me over on tiktok so you don't miss the daily vlogs for vlogmas over there and my instagram all of that that's where the daily content is always really fresh and new i'm still gonna be posting on youtube of course but more so like two to three times a week instead of the daily vlogs so i love you guys make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye guys uh -huh.